my name is Onam Gupta and you're watching India.com Z Media. So today I have with me very charming Karan Thakur. Hi Karan, how are you? Very good, how are you? I'm good. So uh, I want to know when was that first moment for you when you decided yeah, that I want to become an actor? God, you know, I have no memory of it. I'll be very honest, it was such a long time back that I think I've lost memory of the first time I wanted to be an actor. But I'll tell you what, the first time that I really started enjoying what I do for a profession uh, was not very far off. It was very recently. Uh, you know, when I started filming for Special Ops uh, and I could really kind of like get my hands on a script that I could really kind of sink my teeth into and work with a maker like Neeraj Pandey, I feel like that's when I, that's when I found my love for acting all over again. Uh, so yes, I think, uh, I think, yeah, that's the one that I remember. Okay, so you know, you are fit and uh, you are here to you know, talk about fitness, health, lifestyle. So I want to know that, do you really feel healthy from inside? Of course I do uh, and I take uh, a lot of effort to kind of do that and it's not about the fact that I exercise every day but uh, I eat a lot of good food, uh, I eat great clean home cooked food, uh, more than anything else I, I feel like I balance my life out and I feel like that's what keeps me healthy because it's very important to also be happy so things that make you happy when you're eating them I feel that's really important. Um, I, I don't uh, think twice before uh, indulging into a chocolate cake or let's say right now we're in Delhi and how do you come to Delhi and not have Pani Puri? Yeah. Uh, so we're in this lovely restaurant but I still, uh, they had Pani Puri on the menu so I was like, you know, Delhi I have Pani Puri khana yeah. So I feel like, you know, kind of doing things that make you happy like that is truly what keeps you healthy. And uh, you know, for me, I've always said this, uh, being healthy uh, really stands on a whole lot of things other than just exercising and eating right. It's also about the kind of life that you're living, the interpersonal relationships that you have with people. Uh, I feel like I have a great sort of equation with some of my friends, uh, my family. I'm really invested in uh, all my relationships with, with all of them. So I feel like that kind of interpersonal happiness yeah. is truly what keeps me healthy. Yeah. Uh, because, you know, if you're not healthy here, yeah. you're never, your body is never going to follow, right? So that's, that's something that I always believe in. Okay. So do you have any fancy diet that you follow that we all can follow? But I mean, I don't really have a fancy diet. It totally depends on what kind of character that I'm doing. Uh, so my exercising, my my eating habits totally get decided by the character that I'm playing. Yeah. Uh, when I'm not, I'm just eating regular home cooked food. Ab main Punjabi hu. So I think Punjabi food is very good. Tail is not good. My house is made of ghee. And I feel just ghee is a better mm. fat to kind of consume yeah. than tail. Uh, but yeah, you know, I, I, I'm always eating home cooked, normal, regular food. Yeah. Because I feel that people have made the diet and fitness so complicated when they are not so much. It's very simple, you know, don't eat the tala, don't eat the meat. And pretty much anything in moderation, I feel like does a great job. Truly, like I say, I eat food at home and I feel like that helps me the most. And it's done great for me in all of these years and I feel like that's the best way to be. I have one logic uh, to diet, uh, which is very simple, that what we are eating from childhood, our body needs to digest that. And this is a fact. You know, suddenly going into like grilled vegetables and grilled chicken and yeah. like trying to follow a Mediterranean or a Western diet which our guts are not really used to digesting uh, is, I feel, where some gut problems come in. And yeah. you know, like they say, any problem starts with your stomach. stomach. So uh, I feel uh, uh, I'm the most comfortable eating normal Indian food which I've been eating since I was a child. Uh, I eat a lot of dry fruits. I eat a lot of good fats. I am addicted to ghee. So things on those lines, I feel like if you have been, if you're okay with them, yeah. uh, you should do it. Don't listen to me. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, just follow whatever, whatever yeah. works for your body. Okay. So coming back yeah. to your profession, I want to know, do you remember your first audition? I tested for a, for an Indian TV show, which was running at that time. Kyuki Saas Bhi Kabhi Bahuti. Uh, and they were replacing, I remember, uh, uh, a character back then, like a really big character. And uh, they were testing boys for it. And I was not an actor at that time. Uh, I used to run a store in the area that I live in, which is an Andheri in Lokanwala. Uh, sorry, in Lokan... Um, any, either way. And um, someone just came as road testing. Like they used to have these auditions back in the day. They used to like just find people from the streets and do these streets auditions. Uh, so they tested me for that show. That's actually how I started. Uh, the whole idea of becoming an actor, before that I used to run a business with my father. Okay, and your first rejection? You my know. first rejection? In terms of acting? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't remember actually, you know, because uh, there are so many rejections that you go through as an actor and there's so many auditions that you don't make it for that it would be very hard to remember it because 
if you say in the last 14 years i must have dabbled with what six to nine projects so technically it's only those nine auditions that work out beautifully uh rest of them you pretty much uh don't get or you don't do those so i wouldn't remember my rejections yeah but it's heartbreaking every yeah. time it's always heartbreaking it's not easy but you got used to it in one of your interviews uh, you just said that it's not you know easy to survive in this industry you you need to be thick skin right. similarly priyanka chopra also said that how she was not happy the kind of work she was getting in bollywood so uh, is it true like is the industry too brutal like right? but it's not the industry stuff see this profession is really hard yeah. uh, for a simple reason that everyone comes here to either be the the hero or the heroine right or at least so i assume uh, and finding a break to kind of do that as an outsider because technically this industry doesn't really have a structure okay. it's not like a job where you where you apply like, with like a certain uh, uh you know education that you have and you hold a resume and there's a structure to the job and there's a structure to the hierarchy that if you do well you have incentives if you do better you get promoted and there is like a graduation to kind of do that uh, in this industry it doesn't it doesn't really work like that it's it's very haphazard um uh, you know there's so many there's so many different variables uh that it takes to kind of get that one casting right um so it's not just talent it's not just looks it's not just luck i feel like there's there's it's a combination of a whole lot of things so because of that it becomes very difficult to kind of bag a job uh and i came from a space to say that that's what makes it really tough uh that there is that many there's just that many roles and in india if you think about it there's a quantum of public uh, that wants to either be cricketers that wants to be actors so there's so many actors that now come into bombay and now because of social media yeah. coming in which is great you know more power to everyone who wants to be creators and they're doing so good at it i have some really close friends who are amazing at content creation uh so i just feel like there's there's just that many jobs now to to get one the one that you desire uh is really hard so you have to be ready for rejection you have to be ready to kind of really work very hard uh because this industry takes everything that you've got you started off your journey on television now you're successfully rising on ott as well so i want to know that was it easy to shed off that uh, television image of a television actor and prove you know your versatility on a different platform 100% is very hard yeah uh, uh you know i had to take a step back from television for almost 6 uh, odd years that i didn't work uh, as an actor i uh, i was hosting but i didn't act on television because there is a certain uh a uh, perception of an actor from television that the industry has and to kind of let people forget that you have to take a step back from acting from tv which i don't think is the most ideal or fair on an actor but well uh, what are you going to do that's that's the nature of the job so uh, uh so yes it, it did take me a while to kind of have the kind of filmmakers that i want to work with uh, to have them take notice of me uh but yeah you know i feel like um, i mean i don't want to sound pompous but i just feel like all of that is in the past i feel like life's quite good right now i'm doing a whole lot of work that i'm really enjoying so uh, i i feel like you know if you work hard enough in this industry it really pays you back like handsomely fans are uh, asking me number of questions for you on twitter so we'll play a small game Hit and it. these are all their questions so yeah. first question is your favorite actor my favorite actor <laughs> you um, have to say it No, no, it's not that I'm shy yeah. to say this. You know, actually, in times of today, you don't really have one favorite actor because genres have opened up so much that you enjoy performances of different people. But I love Killian Murphy. Oh, uh, Bollywood actor. Oh, Bollywood yeah. actor. Uh, I like what Ranbir Kapoor does uh, a lot. Uh, I really, I, I mean, yeah, Ranbir Kapoor. Ranbir Kapoor. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, have you ever bitched about your co-star? Of course. <laughs> How do you get through a day? <laughs> okay. No, it's all it's all in good spirit, you know. Oh, yeah. It's all in good spirit. Okay, so are you self obsessed? Uh I'm I mean I feel I'm self invested. I feel obsessed is just really a very negative connotation, but I, I'm I'm quite invested in myself. Okay. Yes. So, do trolls on internet bother you? Depends on what state of mind I'm in. Uh you know, if I'm going through a great time in life, uh, all's up swing, it's it then you know you you just laugh it off. But sometimes of course, you know, I'm I'm human at the end of the yeah. day. When you're you know when you're when you're not in the best place in your life, it could be personally, professionally, and uh you know, as actors, our lives are so public. Uh that of course it bothers you. Yeah. So, last question. Okay. When are you getting married? When am I getting married? Yeah, but dhoondo ko Delhi se. Main to Delhi aata hi isliye. Okay, get the done. Done. Okay, so thank you so much, Karan. Thank you. Um, you know, for joining with us.